<laughs> this is such an experience literally everybody needs to have this kind of experience princess treatment only hi everyone welcome back to francisca ak channel if you are new here please subscribe and also don't forget to like comment and share on my videos this is the continuation of my venice solo travel experience please enjoy the video and let me know what you loved about it in the comment section thank you very much i'm going on the gondola and i'm scared to go this one let's try Guys, this is such an experience. Eh, sì. piove quindi non lavorate. Guys, this is such an experience. So the gondola um, price is 80, 80 euros if you are only one person and but you have a short distance to go. But if you pay 120, you can go in different places. 160 also or 200 euros, then you can go like tour all the canal. So I chose the 120 and he even give, gave me a discount. So I'm very happy about it. Hello. Adesso all'interno c'è una banca e parte di un albergo. Il suo nome qual è? Tipico, Marco. Marco, ah, eh sì. bene, io sono Francesca. Piacere. <ride> Dopo un'ora. Tu da dove sei? Francesca? Sono ganese, però ho vissuto in Italia da, per 14 anni mm -hmm. e poi mi sono mossa in Inghilterra. Adesso sei in Inghilterra? Sì, sono venuta giusto per una settimana per visitare Venezia, poi vado a Milano e domani vado al lago di Como. Ah, bello. Eh sì. Milano, non sono un gran amante della città, Beh, però fa confusione per me. Sì, ho soggiornato lì ieri sì. e a, appena mi sono svegliata ho detto no, vengo a Venezia perché tanto mi, Milano la giro in una giornata. Quindi. Sì. Va bene. So guys, I'm having a full conversation with the... Is it gondoliere? Gondoliere. With the gondoliere, he's explaining so much to me because... Um, there is a lot of history here and since he was you were born here right um esatto. nato qua um è nato qua quindi sa tante cose della della Venezia so he's literally telling me a lot of things uh, which i appreciate because i don't know anything about venice all i know is that it's very beautiful <laughs> and there is a lot of water and yeah so i would definitely recommend for everybody to come to venice if you come to venice try to go on the gondola to have a ride i know it's a bit pricey but it's a one lifetime thing right you don't do it every day so it's cool Quale? Questa, questa qua. Questa è uno dei primi sindaci dopo l'unità d'Italia okay. ed è quello che ha voluto l'apertura della biennale mm. nel 1895 la chiusura di quella biennale l'aveva fatta il giovane Gabriele D'Annunzio che poi era conosciuto tra l'altro come il sindaco poeta a mm. scrivere poesie sì. e ha scritto parti di commedia insieme al suo amico Gallina grande commediografo mm. dell'Ottocento. Ok. 
Quindi come Venezia ogni parte, ogni angolo ha un pezzo di storia da raccontare. Sì, piena di storia. È molto interessante sentire la storia, la storia di Venezia. Sinistra. Italiana che era una sinistra molto importante in Europa, sta scomparendo. Eh. Sono adattati a, ai grossi poteri. che scappavano via dalle precipitazioni. Mm -hmm. Infatti anticamente era chiamata la Serenissima. Era chiamata? Serenissima. Serenissima. Basta pensare alle comunità che sono venute qui, eh, greche ortodosse, mm -hmm. laiche, eh, gli armeni, anche tedesche. Sono tutte queste, eh, comunità importantissime sì. nel sviluppo della storia di Venezia. Venite dalle culture altrui. Mm -hmm. Infatti Venezia è una città che nasce orientale come come architettura e anche come mentalità, uh -huh. nasce bizantina. Ciao! It's Ciao. freezing, it's freezing, but yeah. E via. Adesso vado andare sotto per cortesia, se cava. Dai! Cominciamo a rispettare le distanze. Play bay. Play bay. Play bay. Play Oh, e lì poi sta intervistando i cardinali, il patriarca. Ah, no. Quello aveva costruito il palazzo della regina a Greenwich. Ok. E in più molte altre case per l'aristocrazia inglese. Lì a sinistra invece, dove c'è quella cupola verde, lì è il Lido. A sinistra, guarda, no, no, là, vedi quella cupola dietro quella barca che sta Ah, sì, 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 sì. La Sirica si chiama Santa Maria della Salute. Ha questo nome per ricordare anche la Madonna che ha fatto terminare la peste a metà del 1600. Una uh -huh. grande epidemia che aveva devastato la città, ha fatto molte vittime. Per costruire quella chiesa, all'epoca si racconta che abbiano usato circa un milione di pali per le fondazioni. Ok. A destra invece le due colonne sono le colonne messe in piedi da un artigiano bergamasco, uh -huh. un certo eh, balettieri, porta della città. Uh -huh. Sopra ci sono i due, i due, le due statue che ricordano i due santi protettori di Venezia, San Teodoro, che è il santo guerriero, e Leone Alato, che rappresenta San Marco. Venezia, storicamente, è andata a rubare il corpo di San Marco ad Alessandro Egitto nel 828, appunto per avere una loro indipendenza prima religiosa e poi un po' alla volta politica da Bisanzio da Costantinopoli. I have had the best time ever in Venice and uh, I've been on the gondola. I just finished my ride. My gondoliere was amazing. He was fab. He was explaining the history of Venice, a lot of stories, a lot of history. And I really appreciated it because it was, he made it very nice and he interacted with me. So it was amazing. It was really cool. So I would definitely recommend to everybody to, that when you come to Venice, definitely book or go for the gondola ride. It's a bit pricey, but you can negotiate with them and they can give you a discount if you are nice with them or if they really want to take you to for the ride. So I would definitely recommend it for everybody. Right now I'll just go back to the um, station the train to the train station because I need to go home. It is quite late. I've been here for for some time. Quindi ritorno alla stazione e poi vado a casa, vado a Milano. Just a quick update. I am back to where I started my journey this morning. I have I have gone around um, Venice 
and I've seen the beauty of Venice. I absolutely love it. I am absolutely in love with Venice. It is such a beautiful place to be. Um, so yeah, I just want to wrap up and say thank you very much for coming along with me. Today has been a wonderful day. The weather was so beautiful and it's still sunny even though it is four o'clock uh, in the evening. But yeah, as you can see, I'm very happy. I'm a bit tired, obviously, but I'm very happy um, that I came here today. Tomorrow, I'll continue my trip and I'll say see you in the next vlog and stay tuned for my next videos. This is such a beautiful view. So I'm now going for the train and uh, i'll get some very very late like extremely late but it's fine i'll just go home to the hotel then i'll sleep <laughs> Guys, if you watch my video up to here, thank you very much. A massive thank you to you. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. I really want to know what you love about my videos. If you have any advice, please comment down in the comment sections. Share my videos and subscribe. Thank you very much for all the support. And stay tuned for the next video because there are so many more coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and God bless you. Hi guys, I just got home from Milano Centrale. I stopped at the pizza place to buy pizza, obviously, because I'm starving. I've literally not eaten today. I ate only the pastries that I bought in Venice, but now I feel like I need to eat something. And I got the pizza with, um, with the vegetables, grilled vegetables, because yesterday I had the pizza with tuna and onion, which is one of the best i really love it but i feel like i need to eat some vegetables because otherwise i'm going to be super bloated i'm already bloated but yeah anyways i just wanted to wrap up this um, vlog and say thank you very much all for coming with me um thank you for your support so far because it is not easy being a small youtuber is not um easy at all but i know that everybody started from somewhere and slowly you get you grow you get more subscribers and things will get better so yeah thank you very much for your support i appreciate it it doesn't go unnoticed and please keep supporting me whenever you can share my videos like them and you know comment and click the notification bell and subscribe please subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend tell your family members to subscribe to francisca ak channel please thank you very much i'll continue my journey tomorrow and you all get to see where i'm going but for now i'm just going to dig into that pizza because i am just tired i'm hungry i want to eat so i'll finish eating i'll take a shower and i'll go to sleep because I'm going to wake up super early tomorrow, just as I woke up this morning very early. So, yeah, see you all. Thank you very much. Bye.